The all-consuming Yanni vs. Laurel debate has divided the internet, and now Hollywood too. This week, an audio clip quickly went viral, with millions of people furiously debating whether the voice on the recording was saying Yanni or Laurel. In just a short time, a handful of celebrities including Chrissy Teigen and Ellen DeGeneres have already weighed in, and they are just as split as the rest of the internet. Posted two days ago by Reddit user Roland Camry, the recording is being called an auditory illusion on par with the debate over the dress from February of 2015. The short clip features a man's voice repeating a single word, but while some listeners are sure he is saying Yanni, others are equally sure that he is saying Laurel. What makes the clip all the more baffling is that these two words sound absolutely nothing alike, so it's not a matter of pronunciation. Most people claim they quite clearly hear one of the two words and can't imagine how anyone could possibly hear the other, and stars are just as convinced. It's so clearly Laurel. I can't even figure out how one would hear Yanni, wrote Chrissy Teigen. Actress Mindy Kaling, who disagrees, replied to her, I bought your cookbook. I loved it. And now you betray me? Number Yanni. Also, it's Yanni, not Yanni. Let's not be cute about it, she added. Literally everything at my show just stopped to see if people hear Laurel or Yanni. I hear Laurel, wrote Ellen DeGeneres. Author Stephen King, singer B.B. Rexit, actor Kyle MacLachlan, Olympic figure skater Alex Shibutani, and Ryan Adams are all Team Yanni. I truly do not understand where Laurel comes from. I only hear Yanni. This is not a bit, I am so confused, wrote the Mindy Project star Ike Barinholtz. On Team Laurel, though, are actor Brian Greenberg, Olympic figure skater Maya Shibutani, singer Lilia Allen. Piers Morgan is Team Laurel too, and just as passionate about it as everyone else. Update, my wife also hears Yanni. So that's both my wives on screen and off, who are nuts. I tease Laurel, FFS. Some stars simply can't make up their mind either way or hear both during different instances. I hear number Yanni so clearly. But if I listen closely, I can hear a deep quiet ghost saying number Laurel. So there. Anyone else hear both? Wrote Amy Rossum. Started off as a Yan man. Now I'm a Laurel Lord and I can't go back. Added Jared Folloil, and Kumail Nanjiani wrote, I heard Yanni all day and now I'm hearing Laurel on the same device and I can't hear Yanni anymore. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Stephen Colbert has also gone back and forth and seems quite confused. And then there are the celebrities who are simply sitting back and watching everyone else freak out. Yanni vs. Laurel is starting some real fights, wrote Houston Texan star JJ Watt. Since the clip has gone viral, some experts have attempted to explain the science behind the illusion. Some have said that those who hear Yanni may have more sensitive hearing in the upper ranges of pitch. Others said that adjusting the pitch on the recording can help people hear both. But Brad Story, a professor of speech, language, and hearing at the University of Arizona, has a different take. He told CNN he believes that the issue lies in a poor quality recording, and the original recording probably said Laurel. Part of it involves the recording. It's not a very high quality. And that in itself allows there to be some ambiguity already, he said. So he recorded himself saying each of the words separately and analyzed them. When I analyzed the recording of Laurel, that third resonance is very high for the L. It drops for the R, and then it rises again for the L, he said. The interesting thing about the word Yanni is that the second frequency that our vocal track produces follows almost the same path, in terms of what it looks like spectrographically, as Laurel. If you have a low quality of recording, it's not surprising some people would confuse the second and third resonances flipped around and hear Yanni instead of Laurel, he added, but most likely the original recording was Laurel. Whatever experts say, though, people know what they hear and are still debating it online. I hear Laurel and everyone is a liar, one person commented on Reddit while another wrote, are you serious?
It's Yanny for me. Those who hear Yanny hear it is higher pitch and nasal sounding, while those who hear Laurel say the voice is deeper. Some people are just as confused because they heard both words. I heard Yanny in a high pitched voice for the first half of the very first time I played it, but heard Laurel ever since. Weird, I heard Yanny for 10 15 minutes, then asked someone else, and they said Laurel, said another listener. After listening it for some more time, I could sometimes hear a high-pitched Yanny or a low-pitched Laurel. True black magic F. Curry, someone admitted about their interpretation. Oh, any person suggested playing with the bass frequencies to see if it would change the word that people hear, writing, turn the volume up and down to hear each version. It has to do with the bass frequencies not being perceived as loud at lower volumes. If you turn the volume very low, there will be practically no bass, and you will hear Yanny. Turn the volume up and play it on some speakers that have actual bass response, not your phone, and you will hear Laurel. Obviously this also depends on individual physiology and on what you expect to hear. I'm assuming they combined the high frequencies of Yanny with the lower frequencies of Laurel with some overlap. The two words are phonetically similar enough for this to work however, your brain can't handle both at once, so it picks one and that is the version you hear, they continued. Quite a few people have also expressed frustration to have another debate similar to the one surround the dress three years ago. In February 2015, a poor quality photo of a dress went viral, sending people into debate over whether it was black and blue or white and yellow. As with this audio recording, most people claimed to quite clearly see one color combination or the other and thought the people who disagreed with them must be lying. Celebrities wait and then too, with Demi Lovato, Kanye West, Justin Bieber, Jaden Smith, Emmy Rossum, Josh Groban, and Mindy Kaling all on Team Black and Blue. Kim Kardashian, Cher, Anna Kendrick, Sarah Hyland, Julianne Moore, Jimmy Fallon, Kat Dennings, B. Jane Novak, Sarah Brays, and Bethany Frankel were team white and gold. Later, when people found the original dress, it was proved to be black and blue, 